Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the crypto crash. We're going to talk about the, the secrets, really. Um, and this isn't the secrets of why Bitcoin crashed. This is more, you know, a, a video to sort of go through my thoughts and opinions on the, the, the market, the pullback crash, um, and basically to try to put people's mind at ease. But on the flip side, I may say some stuff that, you know, potentially upsets a few people. That isn't my intention. Um, however, I am just going to say it how it is. You know, this isn't um, a video made to, to get views, um, you know, like many of the other uh, channels out there that are just putting out complete nonsense. This shouldn't, uh, this crash shouldn't come as a surprise to, to viewers of this channel because we've been talking about it for over a week. We've expected 37k and obviously to, to then look at it, the, the market as we sort of approach that. That happened quite quickly uh, overnight for, for us here in the UK. Um, and, you know, a lot of our members, our Patreon members have made uh, a lot of additional money um, or additional crypto because they sold when we first started talking about this uh, pullback and they've purchased more crypto than they uh, sold. So some very happy Patreon members. But on the flip side, there are people that perhaps have only just tuned in today. So I'm going to sort of talk through the, the, the market as I see it. Um, try to put people's mind at ease. But, you know, this might not be the market for you. And if that's the case, I'm just going to, you know, tell you how I see it. So don't take offense. Do let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on, on the market. You're going to see lots of influencers at the moment um, that have no idea what they're talking about, um, no real longevity to, to their investment careers, um, you know, perhaps even had different channels and just altered their channels because crypto is getting a lot of views. Um, so, you know, you're going to hear a lot of influencers saying bear market. For me, this is a phase, a bear phase within a bull cycle. Um, we had the same thing back in May. We were one of the only channels um, saying that, you know, this is still a bull cycle. It's just a bear phase. Um, and, and look how that, that sort of uh, played out. We saw an all time high afterwards. So that's kind of our expectation. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Drop into our Discord, link is in the description. If you want to be a member, um, check out our Patreon. Right, let's get down to, to the desktop. Let's get into all this sort of stuff. I think this is a really interesting video that people will want to watch. Okay, so we're going to start on coin market cap. Now, the reason why I really want to start here is just to basically just show all the red, right? It's a, a decent pullback crash, however you want to sort of talk about it. You know, for the last seven days, Bitcoin's down 17.16%. There are going to be people saying it's not a crash, um, or maybe they're actually going to be sort of more uh, aligned with our uh, labeling of the, the video. Um, but traditional markets, anything over 10% is is classed as a crash. I know this isn't a traditional market, but ultimately we are going through a transition and it's becoming more of a traditional market. Um, and people can argue that with me. Do let me know in the comments below uh, what your thoughts and opinions are on that. But um, ultimately, the first thing I wanted to talk about, right, um, obviously, if you're really uh, worried, concerned, um, that is a natural feeling. But, you, you know, if you're really anxious about it, you know, you've got to ask yourself, is this the market for you? And like, I'm not trying to upset anybody here, but, you know, these sorts of swings in the market uh, is normal for, for crypto, right? So it's not normal for traditional markets like stock markets to, to fall sort of 80% over a you know, period of a few weeks. Um, but with crypto, it is, and it's kind of set up that way, right? In the respect that, you know, you've got leverage, um, you know, that when you've got leverage, uh, to the extent that we've got leverage in this space, it's an unregulated space, so that doesn't help. Um, you know, these these two things alone, you know, create volatility. Um, then you've got um, banking sector um, that have done studies on how much money it takes to move the needle for, for Bitcoin. So there's clear manipulation potentially going on. Now, I'm not suggesting that that company um, that did that study are manipulating the market. Um, but, you know, between those sorts of industries, um, the exchanges themselves and other institutions, there is definitely a form of manipulation going on in this market. And it's making it very volatile, right? Whether that's press releases, you know, ban uh, China banning crypto. I mean, I don't know how many times I've seen that uh, and so on. Right. So, you know, you've got to be sort of aware that, you know, 
this is a very volatile market, right? Let's say you are aware that it's a volatile market and uh, you're quite comfortable with that, right? The next thing really is your time horizon. So, you know, if you're only going to be in crypto for a few months, a few weeks, uh, maybe even just a year, um, that is probably the wrong sort of um, time horizon to, to be investing in any market, let alone the crypto market. Now, don't get me wrong, you could get lucky, you could get in you know, at the bottom of a crash, ride it up and then get out and make some money. Um, but really it isn't about quick money, in my opinion. Crypto, you know, should be a five to 10 year um, time horizon for, for your investments. And if that's the case, you're going to feel less anxious right now. Um, you know, what I normally do is close down my portfolio and I just don't look at it, right? I know where the market, or I feel that I know where the market is going. And uh, we've seen these pullbacks, you know, historically through other bull cycles that we've experienced. Um, so for us, this is this is just a normal phase within uh, a cycle and uh, we're quite comfortable. But, you know, you, you do need to, to understand time horizon. So if we use uh, Walmart, uh, where is it? Walmart for an example here, right? So five years, well, let's go to, to max. We'll go to five just because it makes it easier on the charts here. So, you know, but here, for example, $108, and it went all the way down to 82.46 back in 2018. Right? But look at, look, it all went back up. It took a bit of time. Over that five year horizon, you know, it's now worth 145 and six, right? Now we're, we're earlier into to crypto than, than this, for example. Um, but I think it illustrates the point, you know, you could use Microsoft um, as another example. So, you know, if we go here, you know, it was 185.35 and then it pulled right down to, where is it? Uh, 137.35, for example. But if you look now, you know, even on the pullback here, 301.60. So I think, you know, if you you understand crypto, you will, will see that it's very similar to this, right? Where the, the total market cap here, was 828 uh, billion and then it sort of fell right down to 454 uh, so you know it's one of those and if you look now obviously you know you're sorry you're at trillion aren't you so that was billion now you're at trillions so you know for, for me almost three trillion and even if you look now it's still massively higher and it was back in 2018. So I think you know your time horizon is a, an important thing. If you're in these markets for a long period of time, you know the likelihood is you're going to do really, really well. And that is kind of one of the secrets that I wanted to kind of share with people that are perhaps new in the market. I think it's really important to, to understand that. The other thing to, to perhaps understand is actually um, what it is that you buy and what it is you hold, right? Now, um, for example, um, you know, a lot of the, the layer one, layer two blockchain ecosystems are going to be sort of incorporating metaverse uh, and NFTs if they haven't already. And you look here, like Facebook, Instagram, jump into NFTs, right? You know, I'm not going to read through all these articles, but, you know, um, the DNB, um, you know, Microsoft's 68.7 billion, um, you know, deal to, you know, to, to play in the metaverse, basically, you know, they're buying up companies that are going to do you know, games in the metaverse, you know, um, again, web free, you know, companies raising $10 million, um, you know, to, to get into web free. If you understand what it is that you hold, you, you will know that, you know, we're, where we're going, right? Like all these big companies, they're not spending all of these silly amounts of money for it not to be utilized in the future. They know where we're going. We know where, 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 where we're going, right? So ultimately, it's very similar to some of those charts that I, I showed with like Walmart and um, um, Microsoft, for example. We are very, very early in this space. Um, it's a very volatile space. Um, but, you know, but for me, it's, it's where we're going. It's where we're going to be in five, ten years time. You know, if you hold the right cryptocurrencies with decent use case, decent utility, you know, that's covered like web free NFTs, metaverse, um, and, and much, much more, right? Like, you know, bridging between 
different projects and all these sort of really useful um side of things then you know you, you're going to be set up to, to do really well in this space in my opinion obviously none of this is financial advice it's just my opinion everyone's got to make their own financial decisions uh, and investments you know based on what you know their their research right we always tell you to go away do research you know you shouldn't um just you know fomo into the market because i said i you know a project's really really good um it should be your decision to to go do that so you need to go do your own research never listen to any influencer and just make a decision based on what they're saying the other thing that i would i would mention is you know like buying these dips like i have been in the market today i have been purchasing i always say to to people in this space and i guess another like little secret is you know you've got to take profit you know when we're you know in the green and we're doing really well and we're seeing 10x 15x 20x you've got to take some money off the table because you know you put it into to usdc or usdt ultimately you've got money on the sidelines ready to go back in the market times like this now there is a lot of stable coins on the exchanges right now and uh, it's only a matter of time once the the dust sort of settles that they start to get back into the market right and we start to see that bounce i'm expecting a bounce to the upside so don't you know if you, you you're gonna sell you know personally what i i would do is i would um wait until we see the bounce obviously you've got to make your own decisions and look at the charts yourselves um but i would be waiting for a bounce if this was a market that i didn't want to be in anymore because i couldn't handle the anxiousness and, and that side of things um but you've got to go away you've got to kind of look at those those um stats and statistics and charts and the, the ta for the projects you're invested in um what i would say is just you know try not to sell the bottom um you know we want to sell the top not the bottom um so hopefully this uh, video was useful and informative if it was mash that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already tapping that bell selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.